Hello everyone. Welcome to IPCS Automation. Today we are going to see about IoT using Node MCU. So to use Node MCU, you will be opening Arduino IDE as a primary software. So you can use any version you want. So you have to uh, select the board as Node MCU. This has to be downloaded in the boards manager. And uh, select the CPU frequency, the flash size and the upload speed. So please leave the upload uh, speed at the default at 115200. If you change this, your program may not get dumped on the Node MCU. So please make sure that this, this never happens. So as I scroll down, so I am going to use uh, D1, D2, D3 and D5 as my output pins for this uh, demo. So D1, D2, D3 and D5. So you will see the connections in a bit more. Coming to the connections, so uh, the Node MCU can be powered by a micro USB cable. So I am just connecting my computer, computer to the Node MCU by the micro USB cable. So once you insert the cable, you will get a blue uh, flashing on the Node MCU. So once that is selected, select your COM port and click download. So this may take some time as uh, Node MCU is an additional module that has been installed on Arduino. So it will take some time, uh, not like it will not just get compiled as, per, as in uh, normal Arduino program. So once the program gets compiled, it will just start to get uploaded. So the status window will show as now it is showing as compiling sketch. So and now it will show as uploading. So this will take some time. So the you can see that uh, small dots are uh, happening. So it will come up to 100 percentage. And once this status has reached 100 percentage, the uploading is complete. The program has just got uh, finished uploading so now we can see the actual demo of how this is going to work so for the actual demo so I am connecting to my uh, company's Wi-Fi so it is being connected at IP as uh, 192.168.31. something so for this to work you have to connect your node MCU to a working Wi-Fi with internet as we are going to control it over the cloud so for the cloud part of the application we will be using blink server so i have already configured all the blink server and things as this is a demo i am not going into those things deeply so this is our node mcu setup so the jumper wires are connected is for the d1 d2 d3 and d5 so and this particular board is a node mcu development board that has been developed by ipcs automation so if you want a board of the same kind you can just inbox me on the comment section so this is the blink app so i have already created a small app uh, for controlling this setup so you can see all the setups here you can create new apps you can create new projects so this is the blink app so you can just download it from ios or android app store so once you create it you have to register in their forum so you will be given a authentication id so that that authentication id has to be used in the program as well as the app so this is the actual settings so i am currently logged in and my board is a node mcu wi-fi so now i am going online so i just press the play button so now when i press the first button my first light on the node mcu switches on the four and the four is switches on so and sequentially so this may take some time it may have some delay uh, due to the internet connectivity problems if you have a very strong internet, it, it will not be a problem. So as you can see, my Node MCU is connected to another Wi-Fi network and my mobile is connected to 4G. So that is my mobile data. So I am I am not uh, connecting it through local network. So you can control this board from anywhere from the world. That's it for this short demo. Subscribe this YouTube channel for more videos.